A former Army specialist who was serving alongside Army Sergeant Bo Bergdahl as part of a three-person unit when he disappeared has taken to Twitter to accuse Sergeant Bergdahl of premeditated desertion of his fellow men. Former Army specialist Cody Full tweets that before his capture by the Taliban in 2009, Sergeant Bergdahl packed up his belongings and sent them home. Mr. Full's account of events prior to Sergeant Bergdahl's disappearance from his unit's Ford operating base in Paktika province have not been verified. A spokesman for his parents say the family has no response. I'm from Idaho, Haley, Idaho. While the facts of what happened to Sergeant Bergdahl are still being hashed out, one thing's clear. His release both within the military and outside it is controversial. Among the questions being asked by critics, was the exchange of five Taliban commanders for one U.S. soldier a fair deal? Does the prisoner exchange set a bad precedent? The United States of America does not ever leave our men and women in uniform behind. Did the Obama administration break the law by going around Congress? Let me go. Let, get me to come home. And as WSJ's Julian Barnes reports, some rank and file service members are questioning what were the circumstances that led to Sergeant Bergdahl's capture in the first place. Some of them referring to reports that several service members died while searching for Sergeant Bergdahl. Defense officials have said they cannot corroborate these accounts. There's also the Rolling Stone article from 2012 that quotes emails Sergeant Bergdahl said to his parents in which he condemns the war in Afghanistan, saying, I'm ashamed to even be an American. Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel says questions about whether Sergeant Bergdahl left his post will be dealt with later and says our first priority is assuring his well-being and his health and getting him reunited with his family. And so that's our first focus. Sergeant Bergdahl's parents are expressing their gratitude for the deal that led to their son's release. We've been working very, very hard for your release these last five years along with the whole of our government, even other governments, and most especially, of course, Qatar. Sergeant Bergdahl is now being treated at a U.S. hospital in Germany. And reintegration of, of Bo Bergdahl is a work in progress. And so is our understanding of Sergeant Bergdahl's capture and rescue.